Hey everyone, it's Hugh from Kids Ride Shotgun here. Today I'm going to talk you through how to install your Shotgun 2.0 seat and 2.0 handlebars. This video is designed to help you, but it doesn't replace the quick start guide, which you must read before you start. So, first thing to do is prop your bike up nice and securely, either in a bike rack or against a wall, so that you're free to work on it. So let's go grab our bike and get stuck in. Step one is to install the foot pegs. First, remove the tension dial from the foot peg and then attach the foot straps. The end of the foot strap with two holes goes onto the end of the foot peg with the orange button and the end of the other foot peg which you just removed the tension dial from. Choose a setting on the foot straps which is snug for your little one's feet but not too tight. The foot straps should be stirrups rather than restraints. Fully remove the quick release from the frame. Then you need to remove the foot peg screws from the ends of the foot pegs. After that, place them into the shotgun frame from the inside out, making sure that the rubber completely covers the screw on the inside of the frame. Choose a foot peg position that's best suited to your child. For the exact inseam measurements, please check the quick start guide. Next, screw the foot pegs onto the foot peg screws, making sure you've got a nice snug fit. Step two is to position the seat on your bike. To do this, slightly loosen the saddle nut on top of the shotgun frame, which will allow the frame to widen. Then place it over the frame of your bike, ensuring the correct orientation. Position the seat around 20 to 30 centimeters or 7.9 to 11.8 inches away from the stem of your bike in a position that's comfortable for your child. Step three is setting the swing arm angle. To do this, loosen the nut on the side of the shotgun seat and remove the face plate completely. Disengage the teeth of the swing arm by pulling the arm away from the frame of your bike. Repeat this with the other swing arm so that they're at the same angle. Step four is attaching and adjusting the saddle. Quick tip for this part is to add the quick release into the center of the frame to give you some more stability. First off, remove the saddle nut and remove the top saddle plate. Then place the saddle into the saddle rail and reinstall the top saddle plate. You want to reinstall the saddle nut, but only tighten a little bit. To adjust the saddle's angle, lift from the bottom saddle plate, disengage the teeth and rotate until you have a level position for your little rider. Step five is fitting the axle. There are three axle lengths provided, and for your first time setting up the Shotgun 2.0 seat, we recommend using the longest axle. Screw the tension dial onto the axle around a quarter of the way. Next, slide the axle through both foot pegs and press firmly into the ball socket at the other end. You'll hear a click once it's engaged. If your bike's frame blocks the path of the axle, skip ahead to the alternative axle configuration. Step six is setting the top tube width. Firmly grip the shotgun seat against your bike's top tube and fully tighten the saddle nut. Step seven is setting the foot peg tension. To grip the shotgun seat to your bike's down tube, turn the tension dial by hand. You'll know when you've got the correct tension because you'll be able to pull on the shotgun seat with a medium amount of force and there won't be any movement. If once you've done this step, the axle is protruding from the tension dial, you can take the tension dial off of that axle and fit it to the medium length one instead. Quick tip, if you notice the axle rotating whilst you're turning the tension dial, just gently grab it between your fingers to stop it from rotating. Next, if you haven't already done so, it's time to fit the quick release. There's a range of placement options, but choose one that keeps the quick release away from the frame of your bike. Lastly, before you go for your first ride is step nine, the pre-ride safety check. 
make sure that the Shotgun 2.0 seat, saddle and foot pegs are securely mounted to your bike. Check that the foot pegs have sufficient clearance from the front wheel and ensure that it's not possible for any part of the child's body or clothing to come into contact with any moving parts of your bike. Now it's time to fit your mug guard and you're ready to go. To remove the Shotgun 2.0 seat from your bike, first fully remove the quick release from the frame. Next, unscrew the tension dial by around five to 10 turns and then press the ball socket release button. Now you'll be able to remove the axle from the frame of the shotgun seat. Then simply lift the shotgun seat off of your bike and you're all done. Now your settings are locked in, refitting the shotgun 2.0 seat is super fast and easy. If you're using the upper foot pegs, but the frame of your bike blocks the path of the shotgun seat's axle, you need to use the alternative axle configuration. To do this, unscrew the ball socket mechanism from the foot peg and screw it into the supplied adapter. Then unscrew the foot peg screw and place it into the lower foot peg hole from the inside of the frame and screw on the adapter. Screw the tension dial onto the shortest axle provided. Slide the axle through the lower foot peg position not currently occupied by the foot pegs. Halfway through, add on the tension dial nut to the axle. Then push the axle into the ball socket adapter You'll hear a click once it's engaged. Don't yet tighten the tension dial. Next is setting the top tube width. Firmly grip the shotgun seat against your bike's top tube and fully tighten the saddle nut. Turn the tension dial by hand to set the tension on your bike's down tube. You've achieved correct attention when you can pull on the shotgun seat with medium force and it won't move. Now tighten the lock nut against the inside of the swing arm. Next, if you haven't already done so, it's time to fit the quick release. There's a range of placement options, but choose one that keeps the quick release away from the frame of your bike. Lastly, before you go for your first ride, the pre-ride safety check. Make sure that the Shotgun 2.0 seat, saddle and foot pegs are securely mounted to your bike. Check that the foot pegs have sufficient clearance from the front wheel and ensure that it's not possible for any part of the child's body or clothing to come into contact with any moving parts of your bike. Now it's time to fit your mug guard and you're ready to go. The shotgun handlebars are designed for use on 25.4, 31.8 and 35 mm handlebar diameters. The first step is to select the appropriate sized rubber insert for your handlebar diameter. The sizes are marked on the inside of each insert. Open the handlebar clamps by unscrewing the bottom hex bolt on each clamp. Attach the rubber protective insert into the inside of each handlebar clamp. There's one insert per clamp. Position the handlebar clamps on either side of your bike's stem. To secure the shotgun handlebars in place, close the clamps around your handlebar and tighten the bottom hex bolts. The shotgun handlebars shouldn't move when in use. If you need to adjust the width of the handlebar clamps, undo the top hex bolt widen the clamps and then retighten the bolt. Lastly, conduct your pre-ride safety check. Make sure that the 2.0 handlebars are securely mounted to the bike. Make sure that they're not impeded or restricted by any gear you've got on your bike, such as brake levers, dropper post cables, or any other handlebar accessories. Make sure that the maneuverability of your bike isn't impacted by the shotgun 2.0 bars and you're ready to ride.